Hey guys, it's Kristen Naomi here. The Death Valley premiere here in Rally Studios in Hollywood. We are excited and ready to roll. You know, are you excited for when everybody else gets to see it, like the final? Yeah, I mean, we've done a screening for buyers, but we've never done a screening like this. So it's fun to get to finally get to share it. I mean, I've lived with this thing for a long time. And so it's great to get to share with everyone else. And it's great to get to see the cast and crew get to see everyone else see it as well. So for some of them, they haven't seen the film. So this is a chance for them to see it for the first time and, and get to see it through their eyes. So they get to see their hard work pay off. So I'm just really excited about that. And when do we get to see it? When it comes out? October 20th. October 20th. Tuesday. Every platform. So Look for us. So excited. Think of us. Share it. <laughs> I hope you all love it. Oh, we will be sharing it, and we're so excited to be here. I'm so happy for you, Brad. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. I'm so excited for you guys. We got to talk on the podcast about Death Valley. We got to talk about all the shenanigans that are happening, all the ups and the downs. How does it feel to finally be here and to show this film to everyone you work so hard with? Well, I'm really excited. I haven't seen the whole thing strung together yet. This is Victoria's first time seeing it. I'm actually excited that she's seeing it for the first time. So. You're seeing it for the first time? Yeah. I mean, I've seen, I've seen all the pieces. I've, you know, when you do ADR, you see everything. And, you know, I've seen all the scenes, but I've never seen them compiled together, so I'm excited to see it. Yeah. Oh, that's so exciting. I got to talk to your editor and your producer. Everybody seems to have this love of your group. I've never seen such a tight group in my life. Like, you guys are really a family. Well, like we said, we, we really did make this project with our best friends and family. So, uh, we got loud guys like Jeremy even on our movie. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy, loud guy. Nice. You need a loud guy in your film. Yeah. See, I love this. I love the camaraderie. I love that you guys are here for each other. I'm so happy for you. I can't wait for everyone to see it. It's great. Thank you. great. I hope you like it. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. I've known Brad, who's the writer for nearly 20 years, uh, and I've seen him write, and I've seen him grow as a, a as a writer. And do you know what? He nearly got this film together, and he needed just a little bit more, and I couldn't help him because the the thing about this movie and Brad and everyone on the crew is the passion. Everyone here was passionate about it, and it's a it's a great movie just to reflect that passion. I, I went up for the shoot, uh, and I've come here as well to the end of it um, yeah. as a, as a full circle. It's it's a great it's a great thing. What they do? One of our stars. Loud. I need to talk louder too. Loud. This is Jeremy Ratchford here on the red carpet. Yes. Death Valley premiere. Yes. Jeremy, tell yes. us what. What character you played in this film? I am Detective Kearns. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> so I say this movie is nothing without me. Not specifically me, but my character. Without my character, the thing doesn't start. Nothing. That's all I'm saying. Non-existent at all. So. And I, because it's so hard to talk about, because I, I, I was working on it out there. It's a, it's a who done it, but it's a who's left to who could have done it. True. And I don't want to, you know. You don't want to say, hey, total surprise when you find out the butler. Um, uh, so, um, yeah, I kind of, I have to be very guarded with my responses. I want to be surprised. I'm, I'm rooting for you. I'm rooting for you. <laughs> Officer Loud. Yes. yes, <laughs> yes. You're and actually, my name was, uh, my name was a certain one in the script, but when we went for wardrobe, uh, they had a, name tag on the jersey that said Officer Kearns, and we went, all right, Officer Kearns it is. It's, uh, it's not my name that's important. <laughs> it's what I do. That's right. Does that scare you? <laughs> You're wonderful. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. That's what I love about this film is like there's family and friends and they, they just went to the desert and like let's do this let's, let's create some art yeah you know and that's really what it should be yeah it so. should and I'm really proud of him I'm really proud of the film and I'm I've seen it and I'm excited to see it again Cater Vanessa hi you're here to support your friends oh all of TJ. my friends I TJ heard. Victoria yes. Nick so, Katrina is one of my best friends um Lachlan who I met when they were doing the shoot, who mm. I adore. Um, all the cast, uh, sorry, all the crew, um, mm. uh, either already friends well, or... Well, the cast was in the crew, so you're yeah, actually not wrong yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah, it was amazing. So it was so much fun to... Um, I went down and visited them for a weekend down oh, in did. Death Valley while they were shooting. So I got a little insight into seeing what they were doing and the antics they were getting up to. I'm 
I'm sure they have a lot of stories that they probably won't tell. Well, um, <laughs> they do tell a couple of them on the podcast. They came on The Intellectual, and they told us a few things. Oh, so yeah. the interviews with them were quite interesting. Yes. <laughs> and since we had TJ on, he did tell us about not only Spartacus, which you worked with him on. Yes, I did. Yes. And we all know and love. But he said that you were part of his tub photos. Oh, yes. I I loved those. being part of his In the Tub shoot uh, for a lot of reasons. One, getting naked for TJ is never a bad thing because <laughs> that boy makes you feel like you're a million dollars, which is as amazing as a woman to feel like that. Absolutely. But secondly, because I also lost my mother to breast cancer um, when I was 12 years so old. Um, and so it's really great to be able to do something uh, that gives back so much in that in that regard as well. So with TJ losing his mum and then finding out about it, there was no way I couldn't be involved. And um, TJ's just incredible. He's Everything that he does is wonderful. So it's, it's great to be a small part of his world. Jay? Yes, I'm really good friends with uh, of, uh, of TJ's. I uh, worked with him on Black Sales. He's he's a really great guy, and uh, he does uh, amazing tequila nights and 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 good fun parties up, up in the hills. I'm, you know, I'm a good friend. I spend a lot of time with him, and uh, he's been telling me about the movie for a while, and I've been dying to see it. So. Would you ever want to go out to uh, a valley with TJ? And, oh, of or course. The mountains in the middle of winter. Of course, yeah. I ended up. Uh, I ended. Up, I was working when yeah, when he was doing the project and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But uh, you know, I love working with TJ. Would always yeah. love to do a movie with him. I'm so excited to. See see it because I know he's he's put a lot of his heart and soul into it and uh, I think you know good films are like that generally you know when 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 it's a group of like-minded people who all have a, a similar goal uh, you know that's 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 what you want to do so I know what it's like to have a film that's a labor of love I've produced my own films with my own production company uh, we produced a film recently called Fighting for Freedom, which stars myself and Bruce Stern plays my dad. My father wrote the script. We shot it on the farm where I grew up. So, real labor of love. And, and now I'm starting a company, uh, a little studio with two other partners, Ray Mohit, who's my manager, and uh, Jimmy Palmiotti, the great comic visionary that I worked with on Painkiller Jane, um, a TV series taken from a comic book. And uh, we have a variety of projects on our slate. We have everything from period dramas to comic book pieces to a docudrama on big wave surfing, um, a Tupac movie. So we're really excited about the uh, influx of all the multimedia platforms so people can make their own independent films and get them out there. I love that. Which do you like better, acting or producing? Or is it a little acting bit of Acting is my passion. Yeah. But... Um, after being in this business for 23 years, it seemed like a natural fit to go on the other side of the camera and say, hey, you know, I know what I like to see. I know what I want to portray as an artist. And with there being so many talented people in this town, like, let's get together and do something that has a real message and meaning that we want to do. Neil, were you a part of this film or are you here to watch this film? I am here to watch this film. Uh, I've worked with <laughs> TJ, the director, and... Um, yeah, I got to come support him. I worked with Katrina as well, with TJ. So oh. coming over to, to check out what they did in yeah, the desert. Exactly. I'm yeah. so, was it, how was it to work with TJ? So far, everyone has just been so elated to work with him. Oh, it's so fantastic. Great. Like, I mean, uh, what we did was something I've never done before. We basically took pictures to make a comic book starring us, but like someone's going to draw them from the pictures that we did. But it was a whole day shoot. It's a little bit strange wow. and different. Mm -hmm. So... But he's great. He's great. He's just like constantly got ideas. He's constantly yeah. doing stuff. And uh, yeah, I mean, see all these people around out. A lot of them are here just because he's a great dude. We're here with Bert Kish. Hello. Bert, what was your job? At I, I edited this movie. Mm -hmm. Yes. I cut it. it. <laughs> he That's cut it. it. He you cut know? his own answer. That's how yes. good of an editor he uh, is. No, I, I, I uh, edited and mm -hmm. I was a producer on it. Great. Yeah. And how long did it take to edit this film? The pros, the actual physical activity mm -hmm. the mechanics of editing didn't take that long but to get it out and all the rest of it took a while mm -hmm. it did take a while but it um, it took about a month two months that's great no that's normal no it's not normal that's a, yeah it's normal it's normal absolutely yeah we did it on premiere pro i say that i'd collect nothing i was just selling joseph here that i collect nothing from adobe but i wish they would send me some money but it was uh, the, <laughs> this new technology the way it works yeah. is beyond wonderful and it gives a tremendous opportunity for independent filmmakers to do something at um, very low cost and extremely high quality. 
you know, was told that you worked with Victoria Pratt. That's true, right? Yeah, I uh, just had a movie, uh, Go to VOD and all that stuff on October 6th with starring Victoria Pratt. Uh, it's called June. And... Um, yeah, she's, she's phenomenal. I'm really excited to see what she did with this. Yeah, I mean, we sat down with them, and they went out, they're a group of friends, going out to shoot a film in the middle of the desert. Yeah. So I mean, what can go wrong I except no, everything, yeah, exactly, right? Exactly, exactly. You're setting yourself up for failure, which I know they didn't do, and, and it's a really exciting sort of situation, you know? Yeah. Um, I can't imagine doing that. I've shot a couple of things out in the desert, and it's brutal, so for them to do it for 20 days or something... Is insane. Yeah, it was a pretty long shoot, and they had a small crew. Very small crew. It was like, like I said, it was a family, a group of friends mm -hmm. hanging out, you know, yeah. uh, just doing the thing out in the desert. So, mm -hmm. well, luckily they all had one to three or five jobs each. David Blue, so yes. nice to see you. Our guys at Intellectual News actually talked to you about a year and a half ago, I believe. A year and a half ago. Yeah. So what have you been up to since SciFest? Oh, SciFest. Yay, SciFest. That, that, that was, was a, a fun couch interview. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a fun, awesome thing. What have you been up to since then? I've been writing and producing and acting. Yes. Yeah. I All of the above. A bunch of stuff. I have a short called She Venge in a bunch of festivals right now. I'm part of a web series right now. Uh, a feature that I can't talk about right now. Oh, that's a good one. I know, right? I'm actually pitching about. a pilot that I wrote right now. There's a bunch of stuff. Wonderful. You're busy. And supporting TJ, of course, of course. for Death Valley. This is like, I, I keep telling everybody, we already had them on the podcast, and they just had a blast. The whole time we were talking about it, it was just yeah. so much fun. It's a good And everybody people. here is like family. Yeah. Like, his oh, yeah. family is here. I mean, most of my, I mean, I'm American, but most of my Canadian friends, they're all Canadian. They're, they're all Canadian. I met them all in Canada, and we just kind Did of... Did you make them eat, like, playing hockey, too, like everybody else? Is I that have gone thing? to one hockey game ever. Uh, really? We I gotta, know. You got to check it out. Well, I'm from Chicago originally, so... I'm from Long Island, but I grew up in Florida. Oh, wait, wait. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, I, I don't Sorry, know. Florida. beat Tampa Bay last year. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Just nice. Nice. Okay. It's okay. LA's not, you know, they have the Kings, but go to another game. Oh, my friend's dad is the coach of the Kings. Really? Yeah. Okay, no excuse. Mm. No excuse. You got to go to another game. Besides that, anything else you want to tell us to check out? Because I would love to see you on something else besides Stargate Universe. Thank you. Uh, check out Death Valley yes. by TJ oh. Scott. Hey, guys. We had a blast talking to everybody on the red carpet. This whole gang seems Seems like so much fun, and I can't wait to see this film. We're going to go in right now and check it out, all right? So we'll see you guys next time on Intellectual News.